Tonight, the U.S. has now ordered most of its embassy to leave the capital of Ukraine. Officials are now urging American citizens to leave the country immediately. In a phone call today, President Biden told Russian President Vladimir Putin that Russia would face swift and severe costs if it chose to invade Ukraine. Joining us now to discuss what exactly those swift and severe costs might look like is Congressman John Garamendi. Congressman, thank you for joining us here during Crown 4 News in primetime tonight. It's good to be with you, but it's also extremely important that we all understand exactly what's happening. Putin is making a major grab for territory, plain and simple. It's as though he was some emperor of Russia trying to reestablish a Russian empire that never really existed. Uh, it's serious. It is very, very serious. And if he were to even step across the border with his troops, there will be very, very consequential impact on Russia. Uh, the, uh, the House of... Yep. Oh, go, go ahead. Uh, Congressman, you sit on the Armed Services Committee. We know that President right. Biden has promised 3,000 additional American troops there. At what point do you believe, uh, will those troops be enough? Do you believe that at this point, no. uh, diplomacy doesn't seem to be working, that we could be headed to some type of conflict? Do you think that more American troops will be headed overseas? Well, first of all, there will be no American troops fighting in Ukraine. The president's been very clear about that. Uh, and that will not happen, nor does he have authority to do so. Those troops are in the NATO countries, specifically in Poland and Romania, uh, front countries, if you would, uh, on the border of Russia. However, it's not about aggression against Russia. It's all about protecting the NATO countries from Russia and sending a very clear signal to Putin, don't mess around with NATO. Now, keep in mind that Putin was able to do something that no other person was able to do. We had four years of Trump. Trump did everything he could to weaken, uh, to cause NATO to come apart in various ways. But Putin has put NATO back together ever stronger than it ever was. Now, going forward, what the president undoubtedly told Putin was, you step across that border and you will see sanctions against your country, against you, and against the other oligarchs that have never been put in place before. But they will be this time around. We'll go right after your ability to, to do any international banking. We'll cut you off from the markets. We'll cut you off from the uh, bond markets. And not only that, Mr. Putin, we're going to go after your ill-gotten gains that are planted in various places around the world. And we'll freeze those assets and the assets of all of the other oligarchs and the key military people that are in uh, the Russian military. That is just a start of what we can do. The legislation to accomplish that has been written. It is sitting in the Senate and the House Foreign Relations and Foreign Affairs Committees, and it will be enacted immediately upon Russia moving across the border. So for Putin, you better think twice here. You may think you have a short-term victory uh, with your military, but why don't you just do this? Why don't you just say, we've had a terrific exercise. We have shown the world that the Russian military is really, really awesome. Beat your chest a few times, then turn around and go home as you have in past exercises on the Belarus-Lithuanian uh, border and on the Polish border. We'll see what happens. The president clearly signaled very, very strongly that we can, together with our allies in Europe, and the, other, and the NATO countries and the European Union inflict severe damage on the Russian economy and on Putin himself. Is Russian military action, though, inevitable? I mean, the United States and other countries have asked all of their people who are in Ukraine to get out immediately, <laughs> despite these threats that President Biden is putting out there. Yeah. Is the timing of a Russian invasion just a matter of days away? We really don't know when, but Russia clearly could today, tomorrow, uh, when the sun comes up in the morning, they could. They certainly have the troops. They certainly have the uh, uh, men and equipment in position and women in position to invade if Putin makes that decision. But Putin's rolling the dice. It's not at all clear it's going to come as a winning role. In the short term, yes, he has enough troops to uh, really... Uh, invade and probably occupy most of Ukraine. But he's occupying a country that does not want him there. 
And that is going to signal for a long period ahead that Russia will have a very hard time stabilizing that country and avoiding uh, various kinds of uh, guerrilla activities in the country. We do know that we have provided the Ukrainian military with substantial defensive weapons, weapons that are capable of taking out all of those tanks, which, by the way, are Russian propaganda uh, uh, film. Those tanks can be destroyed by the equipment that we have given them, the various missiles that they have, also certain missiles that can be used against aircraft. All of those are defensive in nature. None of those threaten Russia. However, if Russia were to invade, those would be a clear threat to the Russian military. So there are going to be a lot of Russian men returning to Moscow in body bags. That is very clear. The Ukrainian army is capable. They fought a seven-year war against Russia and the Russian separatists in the eastern part of the country. They're, they're hardened soldiers capable of inflicting severe damage. Nevertheless, Russia does have sufficient armaments and equipment to invade and probably occupy a good part of that country. The question for Putin is, can he declare victory by drawing the attention of the world to him? Well, he certainly did that. Can he declare victory by showing off his military? Yes, he certainly did that. On the other hand, is he willing to suffer the consequences of the most severe sanctions that have been levied against any country? And he has managed already to unify NATO against himself. Not necessarily a wise move should he take a further step to invade. And a lot of people will be continuing to monitor the situation unfolding uh, in Ukraine over the next few days because we, as you mentioned, this literally could happen at any moment now. And any we moment. will be That's watching right. and waiting to see exactly how this does all play out. Congressman John Garamendi, we always appreciate your time here Thank on Cron4 News at 8. Thank Good you so much. Good to be with you. Let's hope for the best here. Let's hope.